Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we just glorify you today, God. We lift you up, God, and we praise your name, God. Glory, hallelujah, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Oh, God, we just thank you for this day that you have blessed us with, God. We thank you for waking us up this morning, Father God. We thank you for our lying days now last night, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for watching over us as we slept, Father God. We thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for the clothes on our back, the shoes on our feet, and the food on our table, God. We thank you, Lord God, for the shelter, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for the cars that we drive, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. We just thank you today, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father God, for this day that you have blessed us with, Father God. We will grant this grace and mercy, Lord, that, you, that we do not even deserve, Father God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Oh, God, we just bless you today, God. We glorify you, God. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise to do unto you, God. And we just want to tell you thank you, God, for all that you are to us and more in our lives, Father God. For all that you are for us, God. We thank you, Father God, for always being there by our side, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for being in our midst and our presence each and every day, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for being all powerful, all knowing, and all seeing, God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are everywhere, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, that you can be in more place than once, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord God. Because you see us, Father God, everywhere that we go, Father God, and you can see our loved ones too, Lord God, and we just thank you, God. We thank you, Lord God, for watching over us and protecting us each and every day, Lord, that we leave the house, Father God. We thank you for your shield of protection, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for dispatching your angels on our behalf, Father God, and keeping us safe, Lord God, from our hurt, harm, and danger things seen and unseen, God. We thank you, Lord God, for bringing us back home, Father God, to our residence, Lord God, and they were safe, Lord God just the way that we have left them, Lord, and we just thank you today, God. Oh, God, we just want to come to you today, Father God, with a heart of gratitude and appreciation, Lord, because you have done so much for us, Father God. You have been each and everything that we need, Father God. You have been our provider and our protector, Lord, and we just want to thank you today, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord God. God, we just want to be mindful of you today and give you all our gratitude and our appreciation, Lord, because sometimes we forget, Lord God, but we just want to tell you thank you today, Father God. We want to tell you how much we love you, God, and how much we appreciate you, Lord. We didn't tell you last night, Father God. And if we did not tell you first thing when we woke up this morning, Father God, we want to tell you now, God, we thank you, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord, because you are so marvelous, God. You are so wonderful, God, and you are so gracious, and you are great and worthy to be praised, God. And we just want to lift you up today, God. We just want to exalt you, Father. Give you all the glory and praise and honor that's due unto you, God. And we just thank you, God. We thank you, Lord, for this day that you have blessed us with, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, God. Oh, God, we just want to ask you to forgive us for our sins, Lord, knowing and unknowing, Lord, God. We come to you, Father God, with a heart of repentance, Lord, God. Asking you, Father God, to forgive us, Lord God, and help us to get it right with you, Lord, because we just want to be pleasing in your eyesight, Father God. We just want to be what you want us to be, Lord God, and what you have called us to be. So, God, we ask that you forgive us, Lord God. We ask you to forgive us, Lord God, and we have complained, Lord God. And we have grumbled, Lord God, and we are not grateful for what we have, Lord God, because we know that it's a privilege, Lord. And it's an honor for you to do the things that you do for us, Father God, because you do not have to do these things, Lord God. But because you love us so much, Father God, and you desire to, Lord God, you do these things for us each and every day, Lord. And we just want to tell you thank you, thank you, Lord God. We want to tell you thank you, Lord God, for those times. We were not mindful of the times that you have blessed us, Lord God. And you have opened doors of opportunities for us, Lord God. When you have done things for us, Father God, that we cannot even imagine or even think of, Lord God. We just want to tell you thank you, Lord, and we appreciate you, Lord God, for doing things for us that you don't have to do, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for being so mindful of us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for being so caring and concerned about us, Lord God. We just thank you, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord God, because we do not tell you enough, Lord, that we thank you, that we appreciate you, God, or even that we love you, Lord. And God, we just want to come to you today, Father God, from the purest place within our heart, Father God, with all humbleness and honesty, Lord, and tell you that we thank you, God. We love you and we appreciate you, Lord, for all that you are for us and all that you do for us, God. We just thank you. Oh, God, I'm asking that you will continue, Lord, to touch your people today, Father God. Touch this nation, Father God. Touch the city of Mobile, Father God. Touch the surrounding areas, Lord God, and dispatch your angels on the behalf of your people, Lord God, because there's so much chaos going on in the world, Father God. But I'm asking you, Lord, that you would keep your people in the a place of perfect, perfect peace, Lord God, that you would keep them in a place of protection, Father God, that you would keep their hearts and their minds stay focused on you, God, 
let them know, Father God, that you are there and that you are with them, Lord God. That even though these things may be going on in the world, Father God, that it will not touch them, Father God. It may come near them, Father God, but it will not affect them, Father God. No matter what the what is happening in the economy, Lord God, no matter what is happening going on in the news, Lord God, let your people know, Father God, that you are standing on the front line before us, Father God. That no weapon formed against us shall prosper, Father God. That if we stand for you, Father God, nothing can be against us, Father God. So help your people, Father God, to stand for you, Lord God. No matter what the circumstances is, Father God. No matter what it looks like, Father God. No matter what it seems to be, Father God. Help your people, Lord, to lean on you, Father God. To trust you, Father God, in all our ways, Father God. Help us, Father God, to acknowledge you, Father God. To come to you, Lord God, and give you these things that we worry about and we're concerned about, Father God. Oh God, I'm going to ask that you continue to saturate this atmosphere, Father God. Touch each and every person, Father God. They may that may see this prayer, Father God. And I'm asking that you would touch them in a mighty way on today, God. Oh God, I just thank you today, God. I thank you, Father God, for being in our midst and our presence each and every day, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you continue to hear the hearts cry of your people on today, Father God, because we need you, Lord. We need you, Father God, in more ways than one, Father God, in each and every area of our life, Father God. We need you, Lord, on our jobs. We need you, Father God, in our homes and in our marriages, Father God. We need you, Father God, in our relationships, Father God, with our mothers and our fathers and our sisters and our brothers, our cousins and our aunts and our uncles, Father God, whoever that their loved one may be, Father God, we need you, Father God. Lord, I'm asking that you would touch the families, Father God, that you continue to to mend the brokenness, Father God. That you continue, Father God, to stem that spirit of division amongst the families, Father God. That you remove any grievances, Father God, any grudging spirits, Father God. Any spirits, Father God, of anguish, the angriness or hatred, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you continue to bend the families, Father God. They will come together, Father God, in unity and love, Father God, and pureness within their hearts, Father God. That they will get it right with each other, Father God, and they will make amends, Father God. They will learn to forgive each other, Father God, and forget those things of the past, Father God. They will not continue, Lord God, to hold on to those things that happened a long time ago, Father God, but they will come together, Father God, and make peace with each other, Father God, and come together in unity, Father God, and continue, Father God, to commune together, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you will bring your families back together, Lord God. That you will place your people in the proper positions within the families, Lord God, so that they may continue to go forth, Father God, and lift you up, Father God. Oh God, I'm going to ask that you continue, Lord, to touch the marriages on today, Father God. Touch their husband and their wife today, Father God. Continue, Lord, to teach them, Father God. Teach them, Lord, what it is to be married on today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you would touch your people, Lord God, and show them, Father God, what it is to honor their vows and stand before you, Lord God. They will not just play married, Father God, but they will actually do what your book says that you do on today, Father God. They will honor each other, Father God, and love each other in pureness, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you restore the marriages, Father God, and restore the forgiveness and the trust within the marriages, Father God. That you will break down any barriers, Father God. That you will cover them and protect them, Father God, from any attacks from the enemy, Lord God. When he comes in to split up the marriages on today, Father God. Touch that husband and that wife on today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you will help them to compromise, Lord God. Help them learn to, Lord God, communicate with each other, Father God, affecting Father God. They will not talk to each other in angerness, Father God, in bitterness, Lord God, but they will have compassion and empathy in their hearts for one another today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you to touch each and every marriage, Lord God, and let it be what you have designed it to be on today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you would touch your people on today, Father God, and be what they need within their lives, Father God. You are the great I am, Father God, and I'm asking you, Lord, that you would be just that, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you would be that provider today, Father God. I'm asking that you would be that protector today, Father God. Lord, I'm asking that you would be the heart mender on today, Father God, because there's so many broken hearts in the lives of your people today, Father God. From childhood hurts, Father God, from adult trauma, Father God, even from things that may happen. A couple of days ago, Father God, I'm asking that you amend the hearts of your people today, Father God. And not only mend the hearts, Father God, but heal them and make them whole on today, Father God. And make them whole within you, Father God, so that nothing may come in, Father God, and shatter their hearts ever again, Father God. Let your peace and your love rain down, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you will wipe away each and every tear of sadness, Father God, and restore it to la laughter and joy on today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you will move in a mighty way on today, Father God. Dispatch your angels on the behalf of your people, Lord God, and we just welcome you in. Father God. We welcome you into our hearts and our minds today, Father God, because we need you, God. We need you to come in, Lord God, and be that change within our lives, Lord God, that we are seeking, Father God. We need you, Lord God, to be that fixer, Lord God. We need you, Father God, to be, to be our protector, to hold our hand, Lord God, and be our friend, Lord God. 
We need you, Father God, to be our companion, Lord. We need you, Father God, to be our mother. We need you to be our father, Father God, because we just are missing some things within our life, Lord God, but we know that you can be everything, Father God. So we welcome you in, Lord God, to be everything that we need you to be and more, Father God. And Lord, you always exceed our expectations, so we trust you, Father God. We trust you, Lord, with our lives. We trust you with our families, Lord God. We trust you with each and every area within our lives, Father God. We trust you with our children. We trust you with us, and we trust you with the plan that you have for our lives, Lord God. And let your will be done within our lives, Lord God, because you know what is best for us, Lord God. So we just welcome you in, Father God, to fashion and form us, Father God, to shape us, Father God, to seem to build us up, Father God. Continue to break us down, Father God. Whatever it is that you need to do, Father God, to use us, Lord, we welcome you in to use us, Father God. We will be a willing vessel, Father God. We will let you work through us, Father God, and work in us, Lord God, for whatever you need us to do, Father God. Whatever you call us to be, Lord God, we are willing to be that, Father God, because we trust you, Lord. And you know what is best for us within our lives, Lord God. So we welcome you in, God, to our life to do what you need to do, Father God. And we just want to thank you today, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father God. We just can't thank you enough, Father God. God. If we had 10,000 tongues, Father God, we could not thank you enough for all that you have done for us in our life, Father God. Even from the very beginning of time, Father God, when we were born and in, born into this world, Father God, and you first breathed breath within our body, we just want to thank you, Father God, because you have been blessing us each and every day, Father God. You have been performing miracles, signs, and wonders in the lives of your people, Father God, since the beginning of time, and we want to thank you, Father God. We want to thank you, Lord God, for our strength. We want to thank you, Lord God, for the love you have placed with inside our, our hearts, Lord God. We just thank you, God. We thank you for it all, Father God, whether it be good or bad, Lord God, because we know it all works out for our good. We thank you, Lord God, for the tests and the trials and the tribulations within our life, Father God. We thank you for the teachings, Lord God, and we even thank you for the lessons, Lord God, because without these things, Lord God, we would not be where we are today, Lord, and we just thank you, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you continue to touch your people, Father God, and continue to give them a teachable spirit, Father God. They will open up their hearts and open up their minds unto you, Father God, and that you will continue, Lord, to instill knowledge and wisdom into the lives of your people on today, Father God, and that you will help them, Father God, use these things that you have given them, Lord God. We want to thank you, Father God, for your knowledge and your wisdom, Father God. We want to thank you, Lord God, for your word. Lord, thank you, Father God, for your truth within our life, Father God. We just thank you today, Father God. We thank you for your promises, Father God, and even your spoken word, Father God, because all of your promises are yes and amen, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are a promise keeper, Father God, that we can depend on you, Father God, and you are so trustworthy, Lord God. That you, Father God, we thank you for being so patient and so gracious even deserve it, Father God. We are not even worthy, but you love us so much, Father God, that you do not give up, give up on us, that you continue to open up your arms to us, Lord God, that you continue to knock on the door within our heart until you let us in, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you are such a gentleman. And you are so gentle with us. We thank you, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, God. And we just love you, God. And we just appreciate you, God. We just want to outpour our gratitude unto you today, Father God. Not only because you deserve it, Father God, but we desire to, Lord God. We want you to know how much we appreciate you and we thank you, Lord God. And we want to thank you for all those times that we have not thanked you, Lord God. We want to thank you for those who don't thank you, Father God, who are not mindful, Lord God. But we will thank you for them, Lord God. We thank you for everything, Father God. We thank you for this world that you brought us into, Lord God, to have life and live it more abundant, Lord God. And I'm asking for God to continue to give us this life that you have designed for us to live, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for the way that you have fashioned, formed, and shaped us, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you continue to mold us, Father God. Continue to give us a plan for your for our life that you have for us, Father God. And Lord, when you have stepped out of your will, Father God, pull us back in, Father God, because we do not want to go right or left without you telling the truth, Father God. We don't want to go forward, Father God, and we don't want to make a turn or even choose without you giving us direction. So God, we seek you today, Father God, and we ask you to give us the direction, to give us the confirmation, Father Father God, to even give us the understanding that we need, Father God, to make some decisions that we need to make within our life, Father God. And we thank you, Lord God, for even helping us choose, Father God, because we know that your way is the right way, and we just thank you, God. We just uplift you on today, Father God, and we exalt you, exalt you, Father God, because you are worthy and great to be praised, Father God. And we just want to bless you today, Father God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Father God, because you are so wonderful and you are so marvelous, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for your power and your might, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for holding the world in your hands, Father God. We just thank you today, Father God, for being all that we need and more, Lord. 
Lord. We just thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord God. And we just give you all of us today, Father God. We give you our hearts, our minds, our body, and our spirit today, Father God, for whatever you need, Lord God. We give you our yesterday, Father God. We give you our mind, our minds, our bodies, souls, and spirit on today, Father God. Whatever that you need of us, Lord God, we give it to you, Lord God, because we know that we can trust you with everything within us, Father God. And we just thank you, God. We give you our plans, Father God, because we know that your plans are better for us, Father God. We give you our children today, Father God, because we know that you can take care of them, Lord God, when we cannot see them, Father God. We just give it all to you, Lord God. We give you our worries and our concerns. We even give you our heart's desire, Father God, because we know that you care for us and you will give us everything that we need, Father God. We seek you today, Lord God. And we lay at your feet, Father God, and we outpour all these things unto you, Lord God, because we know that you can handle it, Lord God. And you will be our provider. You will be our way maker, Lord God. And we thank you, Father God, for doing the impossible in our, in our lives, Lord God. We did not know a thing that could happen, Lord God, but you made a way, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, for always making a way out of no way, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for even clearing the storm, Father God, so that we can see the sun shine a little more. And we just thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for those times that we thought that we were struggling, Lord God, and we actually were not, but you were just teaching and trying us, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for making us strong, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for teaching us that we are stronger than we think you are, think we are, even in the midst of the trials in the lessons, Father God, but we know, Lord God, that it's a reality in the struggle, and sometimes it gets hard, Lord God, but God, I'm asking that you continue to give us all the strength to endure these things, Father God, continue to pass these tests, Lord God, and continue, Father God, to walk in your will and your way, Father God, because it's tried and true, Lord God, and we thank you, Father God, we thank you, Lord God, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, God. Oh, God, we just bless you today, Father God. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Father God, as due unto you today, Father God. Oh, God, we just love you, Father God, and we appreciate you, Father God. We worship you, God, and we adore you, Father God, in spirit and in truth, Father God, because you mean everything to us, Lord. Oh, God, we just thank you today, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you because we couldn't do it without you, God. We just thank you today, God. Oh, God, we belong to you and only you, Father God. And we seek your approval, Father God, and your praise, Lord God. And if we just happen, Father God, to seek the approval of man, Lord God, I'm asking that you would help us, Father God, because we only want to seek your pleasing, your pleasure, Father God. We only want to be pleasing in your eyesight, Lord God. And we just thank you, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father God. Oh, God, I'm asking that you continue to hear the prayers in our church, Lord God, I'm asking that you continue to hear the prayers, Father God, at the altar, Father God. I'm asking that you continue to hear the prayers within our heart, Lord God, and that you will consider them and answer them, Lord God. Continue to hear the heart's cry of your people, Lord God. And I thank you, Father God, for hearing these prayers and considering, Lord God, and even answering the prayers that you have already answered, Father God. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen.